Let's face it, restoring implant using conventional methods is a nuisance. You have to deal with messy impression material that takes three to five minutes to set and deal with all the little components you have to screw onto the implant. Let's not even talk about close tray impression techniques which can easily include errors if you're not careful. There is a much easier and faster way to restore an implant these days using intraoral scanners such as the Shining 3D AOL Scan 3. Hi, my name is Dr. Ahmed Al Hassani from the Institute of Digital Dentistry, a global leader in objective digital dentistry information. I have tested almost every scanner on the market. And recently, I reviewed the ARL Scan 3 on my website at instituteofdigitaldentistry.com. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. The fact of the matter is that restoring implant can be as quick as a 45-second scan with an intraoral scanner. There is no messy impression, no gaggy, no fiddly componentry. It is quick, it is easy, and it is one of the most profitable procedures in dentistry when utilizing digital dentistry. Not only that, but implant surgery precision can also be improved by integrating a digital workflow, combining an intraoral scan with a CBCT to plan safe and accurate surgery for your patients. I will walk you through how I go from taking an intraoral scan with the ARL Scan 3 and bringing these files into Exacad to design the final implant prosthetic, which can be sent to your lab, milling center, or even better, milled in-house for a completely digital workflow. So that's our game plan. Let's jump into it. Here we have some scans completed using the AORL Scan 3 Intraoral Scanner. With every implant restoration scan, there are four components. The scan of the emergence profile of the gingiva, the scan body scan, the opposing arch, and the bite. To fabricate an implant restoration digitally and get it ready for manufacturing, we use CAD software. And in this case, I will be using ExoCAD. Here is the ExoCAD software, and I'll show you how to do this entire process. In ExoCAD, we first set up the case. In this lab form, you choose the tooth we are working on, and then you choose the material. Also, we have to tell the software that the restoration is implant-based, and in this case, screw-retained. So now we can start the implant restoration design process. Click Next and begin importing your scans. First, you must identify and orientate the scan body in the ExoCAD software. This is done by downloading the appropriate digital library for the specific implant brand you are using. You then choose the correct digital analog of the scan body from the library and align this digital analog scan body in the correct position on the scan as you can see here. After the scan body is aligned, you then carry out the primary outline of the emergence profile. This is done by clicking four to five points or more around the implant emergence profile. This doesn't have to be too precise at this stage and can be adjusted later. After this, you can then use the software library of teeth to position and start designing your crown. You place this library tooth within the remaining dentition and adjust the shape and size to make it fit the gap. Keep in mind where the implant is and where the screw channel will be in the final restoration. Remember, this is just an initial rough design. We will refine this soon, so you don't have to be too picky at this step. Next, you will adjust the emergence profile. You can also change the screw channel angle at this step, if your specific digital implant library allows for this. Now we do the final design of the implant crown and refine the shape and contacts. You simply design this as you would any other crown. Designing restorations is like an art. Each tooth is different and each case is different. There is no standardized method to design restorations. The key is to learn and understand how to use the tools in the CAD software and try mimic nature as much as possible. Make sure you have nice broad contacts and the anatomy fits the arch. You also want to make sure there are no undercuts that will prevent the crown being fitted. The last step is the screw hole design. Within a few clicks, you can put a hole in your crown design for the screw channel, and finally export the design ready for production. If you are using a chairside system, this is when you would choose the restoration material of choice. 
typically zirconia or Emacs for single unit implant restoration. And that's basically it. That's a crash course on how to design an implant crown. You can then mill or print this restoration and attach it to a tie base. And now you've just completed an in-house implant restoration. Thanks for watching this summary of an implant restoration workflow in-house using ExoCAD and the ARL Scan 3 Intraoral Scanner. If you have any questions, leave them below.